Confirmed. In flight is on the surface of Mars. Handshakes and hugs welcome the good news that NASA's inside lander has successfully reached Mars just before 3 p.m. Monday. This image from a camera aboard the spacecraft capturing space debris and the bluish sky beyond the planet's horizon. InSight's safe arrival wasn't known in real time. There was a period of terror that NASA had to nervously wait through before knowing the mission was accomplished. Every milestone is something that, it, that happened eight minutes ago because that's yes. the time lag to get a signal from Mars to Earth. This is a mylar covering. Mark Wiskoff is a senior tech advisor and space expert at the South Florida Science Center in West Palm Beach. Mars is kind of in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. The three-legged lander is equipped with a probe that will dig into the interior of Mars to measure internal heat and register quakes and meteorite strikes. This is looking under the hood of Mars, digging deep, and it's not very deep. You're going to have a jackhammer on there digging maybe six to ten feet, maybe. Its findings over a two-year period could teach scientists about how Mars formed and in turn how rocky planets like Earth develop. Mars is probably a living planet like the Earth. It has a core, it has volcanic activity, we haven't seen it, but we know it has water because the South and North Poles have water. Wiskoff wonders if that water can sustain human life and help to determine the viability of NASA's plan to send humans to Mars by the early 2030s. Anything is possible. If they're saying 2030, then is that being optimistic perhaps? But human beings are optimistic. In West Palm Beach, Ron Burke, WPBF 25 News.